Hello, so I've just finished majority of my packing. I'm sure I've got a few last minute things to do, but the bulk of it is done. And I was really worried because for the winter season, I'm only getting one case instead of two. And before the season starts, I'm planning on going to Holland. And after the season finishes, I'm planning to stay with a friend for a week. So in total, I'll be gone for over two months or maybe exactly two months. I think it's about two months. And it's gonna be winter, so it's gonna be cold. So I'm gonna want layers. All this said, I've just finished the bulk of my packing, as I said and I weighed it really nervously and it's 11 kilos. 11! So I guess I had no reason to stress and it means I can put in a couple more things which is nice because I was being really strict on myself. I don't want to go overboard but that feels really good. I'm very impressed with myself. I don't intend to pack a lot more. I don't really feel like I need to but it just gives me a little bit more room which is nice and I've got the space for it as well. Yay! I'm happy. I just wanted to share that. Now, this is obviously the start of a new vlog, and I presume this vlog is going to be me travelling to Holland, and potentially me in Holland. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog at all over the next sort of week, but we shall see, and we'll find out together. I'll see you at some point later on. Bye! We love a little nighttime talk. Hello everyone, I feel like it's been a little while since I've vlogged anything really. I obviously had a wonderful week last week that I vlogged where I went to see lots of shows and spend some time in London with family, which was amazing. And now it is Wednesday night and I'm leaving tomorrow. I can't believe how lucky I was with my flight. I took the cheapest flight because I'm flying to Holland first, which I don't actually think I've mentioned on the channel. I think I've mentioned that I was gonna vlog Holland, but no reason why. I spoke to the company and we decided I could go to Holland first and then get a train to Germany. So I'm gonna spend the weekend with my grandparents in Holland, which I'm really, really looking forward to. And I purchased the flight myself. So I was expecting to have to get one at either six in the morning or 11 o'clock at night, because those are usually the cheapest. But to my utter surprise, the cheapest one was at three in the afternoon, which is a lovely time. And it gets me in before supper, so it's brilliant. So I'll be leaving here tomorrow around 11.30, I think. I'm being really risky with the time. Well, risky by my standards, probably not by anyone else's. And I've spent the last few days packing, although to be honest, since the last clip, I haven't added that much. And I'm still undecided about my fancy shoes, whether or not to bring them. I'll probably decide that spur of the moment tomorrow. And to be honest, I can't quite believe that I'm leaving again tomorrow. It just doesn't feel real at the moment. Like I'm gonna be gone for more than two months and it's just not registered at all. I'm really looking forward to being in Holland and seeing my grandparents. I cannot wait. And I've got mixed feelings about going back to the ship. I do love the job and I did love the job, but I'm just so tired of traveling and in and out of suitcases and temporary homes. I'm just done with it. So I'm kind of on the countdown already for coming back. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna love it though. I'm, I am really looking forward to a lot of it and exploring the different places and you know, the whole Christmas atmosphere, everything. I really do think it's gonna be lovely. I'm just not in the right mindset for it at the moment. Once I'm there, I think I'll be fine, I hope. <laughs> but that'll be vlogged for you all. I also have been looking at my YouTube sort of video list because it's excessively long. But by the time you're watching this video, most of those videos will have already gone out. And I'm starting to plan where I put in my New Year's kind of videos. I've got quite a few I want to film, but a lot of them I can't film until after the actual New Year. So there was a lot of planning involved in that. And then I also noticed that towards the start of next year, I'll be reaching my 1000th video, which is mental. So I have to allow a space for that. But I think, I think I've planned it all out to a T. And unless something really significant happens or drastic, hopefully, hopefully everything is as it should be. But again, you'll know that by now. I'm sure I'll be filming a lot. Well, I don't know if it's going to be a lot, but a fair amount tomorrow and, you know, some stuff over the coming few days, although probably not too much because I will just be spending time with my grandparents. But I definitely will be filming the experience of going to the ship and also probably the first few days of the ship. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film everything knowing me, but obviously it'll be split into different vlogs. But I think in this vlog, obviously you'll probably be able to tell from the title, but I think in this vlog, it will be all the way up until the first few days of me being on the ship without guests. Because what's gonna happen is we get there and then we have a conference the next day for three days, which is not a conference for us, but two people are coming on and we have to entertain them. Then we have about three days of no guests just setting up the ship and then the first guests arrive. 
So in total, we've got about a full week before the guests arrive, which is quite nice. Although we shall see what it all involves. Anyway, I'm tired. It's not even that late. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Why am I tired? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go to bed yet, but as you can tell, I'm very comfortable. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I don't think I'm going to talk to you again until at some point tomorrow, probably in the airport. So I will see you all then. And we're going to do a cool little transition. Watch this. Woo! I hope that worked. Hello. So I have had a lovely first sort of 24 hours, not even, in Holland so far. I can't even remember what we did this morning. We dropped off, well I had a lovely breakfast, and then we dropped off my grandma to get her nails done, and then me and my grandfather went to the local shopping centre, which is like home to me, because we used to go there all the time as kids. And we just wandered around, we didn't really do much, but we got some chips, because chips in Holland are the best. And the mayonnaise, the mayonnaise is so good here. <laughs> And then we also had, we went to Starbucks, I had a mango dragon fruit drink. I'll pop a picture in here, it was bright pink and it was delicious. It was really good, I've never had it before, but it was very good. I was just not in the mood for a coffee because I'd already had coffee with breakfast and I really enjoyed it. I couldn't believe that was the small size as well. Anyway, then we went shopping, which was nice, and now we're back. And we don't really have many plans for tonight or tomorrow. Obviously it's Shabbat, so we don't do very much. This morning was gorgeous weather, really beautiful, blue skies, everything. Tomorrow it's predicted to rain, so we shall see about that. And then on Sunday I'll probably, I'm trying to meet up with a friend, but if that doesn't work I'll probably just go for a wander because my grandparents have some friends coming over, so I want to just give them their space. But presumably I will try and vlog that, so we shall see. That's one really important thing, not important, just something I want to share with you. In Holland, the 11th of November, it's kind of like, it's called Santa Marta, and it's a bit like Halloween where kids, go, they don't dress up but they go to the doors and they get sweets, they sing a little song and they get sweets. I used to love it as a kid, we used to do it all the time. I might make a separate video explaining a bit more about it. But I got here on Thursday, yesterday, and my grandmother gave me this bag of sweets and was like, do you want this? And I checked and it had gelatin, so I said, no thank you. And then this morning she brought me another bag of sweets and said, do you want this? And I was like, what? How many sweets do you have? And I checked and they didn't have gelatin and I think they're all vegan less vegetarian. And she explained that she'd bought all these sweets for Cynthia Marathon and then no one came round to her door, so she has all these sweets in her house. So I'm taking this monster back with me to the ship and I am so excited. They've got some of the sweets that I haven't had in so long, but that are like so Dutch to me. Like you've got those Mentos, which I know you can get everywhere, but to me they just feel very Dutch. You've got Fritella, which is again, more of a Dutch thing to me. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. And I don't know, I'm just pumped. I don't need more sweets, I've got so much food. And I've been fed so well so far, but I did just want to share that. So I don't think I'll be vlogging anything until Sunday, unless something comes up. But that is all from me, and I will see you all later. My grandfather also said maybe tomorrow we can look through some of his albums, because he has hundreds of albums, maybe not hundreds, but close to a hundred albums, I reckon, of his life and our lives. And I always like to look through them, so we might do that tomorrow. But anyway, that is all, and I will see you all later. Bye. Oh, and actually, before I sign off, the flight was unbelievably smooth. Between the plane departing and me getting to my grandparents' house was exactly two hours. I couldn't believe it. And then, of course, that's not including, like, the four hours I allowed on the other end, like, before I left <laughs> to get to the airport and everything. But even that was so easy at the airport. Everything was just very smooth. So it was all good, and I'm so happy to be here. I love it. Anyway, that is all. I will see you later. Bye.
Well, home sweet home. My bed isn't made, which is a shame, but fair enough. It means I need to go get bedding, I think, unless there's any in the cupboard. Oh, something. Will we trust it? Let's see, let's find out. It was so nice coming back on board and my two main team members were both there like in reception as I walked on so that was so lovely and then actually a third one as well and then as I came down to my room I bumped into a couple more people and it's just so lovely because it's all people I know mostly except one. So far I've only seen one person who I don't know and it's just so lovely. Anyway I need to go back up and say hi and figure out what's happening and where we were dropped off there's one ship on that side one ship on this side and us and it's all two wee ships so they all look the same and i had no idea which one was going to be us but there was only one set of stairs which was leading to this middle one and i was very happy to see it was skylar i was like yes <laughs> and it's been gorgeous weather the whole morning whole train journey and suddenly it is raining like mad but luckily the uber driver who was lovely dropped me off very nearby and is maybe gonna watch this video one day because he asked for my youtube channel so if you're watching thank you now look at this view as well awesome anyway that's all i'm gonna head back up and take off my coat because it's warm i think there's the heating on in here so i'm gonna switch that off i'll unpack later i'm just i'm actually happy to be back yay and i need to let everyone know i'm here bye i've just brought all my stuff from what i left here and I've opened my suitcase to be able to get my tripod out and now I'm going to unpack but you know what the nice thing is? Everything I unpack will stay unpacked for the entire time I am on here which will make a nice change from the summer. Enjoy this forthcoming time lapse! That's the bulk of it done, that's the clothes and the shoes and that kind of thing. The rest I will do, I need to go through this bag as well, which was in with my other stuff that I left on the ship, but I'm gonna do all that off camera. I have also been getting into the Christmas spirit by listening to the Christmas postcards by Karen Swan, I believe. I think I read one of her Christmas books last year and I'm really enjoying this. And it's finally got to the point, basically, I'm sure I'll talk about this in my favorites or have talking about, just very quickly to explain it. There are three stories going on at the same time and all along you kind of know how the two are related, but you don't know how the third one is. Or maybe you do and I'm just daft, but I finally figured out how the third one is related, so I'm quite happy with it. I'm gonna keep unpacking, and then I think I was told food is at 6 or 6.30, so two hours-ish. It's now 4.30, but I will see you all, I'm sure, later. Bye! Hello! I have just finished my work day. It's not really late, but it is, I am tired. I think it's quarter past 10ish. And I've just come back to my cabin. I was hoping to watch the episode I missed of Mamma Mia, I Have a Dream. However, oh, my phone is buzzing, don't mind that. However, because I'm not in the UK, it won't let me, which is very annoying. So I think I'm just gonna watch some YouTube instead. And I pulled out the bag and from it, originally I was gonna take these, because I love these. But then I thought, no, if I love it, I should save it for later. So I took out the frutella, frutella, I don't know what you call it. And like the second I bit into it, all these memories, I guess, or I don't know, feelings came back. Like it just reminded me of everything ever. So I'm gonna have another one on camera this time. So they come in packages and then they come individually wrapped and they're like chewy sweets. I don't know if these exist elsewhere or if there are similar things elsewhere. And then they look like that. And it used to be a kind of thing where you didn't know if it was, some had gelatin and some didn't. So we were always carefully watching the packaging, but this one says vegan, so that's good. And then you just, mm, 
It's very chewy, but very, very good. and makes me very happy. Now, I was just gonna have one more, but I may as well finish the packet, right? Anyway, it's been a long day of unpacking stuff. This is not the one for chewing. I mean, videoing. Unpacking stuff, lots of sitting around waiting to be told what I'm needed for. Stress in the brain because there's a lot of stuff I want to do or need to do and I just don't know when I'm gonna have time for it. Really lovely seeing everyone who I worked with again and it's really nice getting to meet all the new people as well. Sorry, this is so broken up but it's because I've got stuff in my mouth. We had a little introduction meeting where it was really nice to see who was gonna be in the team. It was nice to meet some of the more corporate people as well. Two of them are Dutch which makes me happy. It's so nice returning and knowing everyone and everything and how it all works like it just makes me feel so at home and so at ease got to meet some of the people who are working on the other ships who are also lovely and this season we're going to be a lot closer with the other ships and working with them a lot more so that's nice and then at one point originally i was told i wasn't gonna have to go to the airport then at one point i was told i was which would have meant getting up at like eight in the morning which isn't very early but you know it's earlier than i would have liked and then really right at the end of the night when I should have already been in bed but I was waiting for one more thing I was then told I'm not needed in the morning so I'm very happy well I am needed in the morning but not for the airport so that for me makes a big difference so that's why I do have time to watch maybe one or two YouTube videos while I go sleep maybe this is the end of the vlog maybe let me first talk about Holland a little bit as well because I didn't vlog much obviously while I was there to be fair I didn't do very much I don't know if I've spoken to you at all about this I don't know but my plan wasn't to do very much and I didn't do very much. It wasn't like I was actively going in with a plan not to do very much. It was more just a, I don't really care if I do anything. It's just nice to be there with my grandparents. And it was such a lovely time of year to go because it's Sinterklaas or yeah, Sinterklaas. So that's like the Santa Claus Christmas kind of equivalent that we have in Holland. They also, a lot of them also celebrate Christmas. We didn't obviously. And it starts in the middle of November and goes until the 5th of December and we always only celebrated the 5th of December and everyone has different traditions but while I was there was the day Sinterklaas arrived in Holland basically in our theory in our story he lives in Spain for most of the year and then comes to Holland just for that sort of mid-November to start of December period and it just so happened that the weekend I was there was the weekend he was coming to Holland. So it was just really nice and lovely atmosphere and all the ads and all the shops and everything was Sinterklaas themed. So I just, I loved it. And that's, you know, it just made me happy. I really, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you about, but honestly, oh, I do actually. Having got up to get what I'm about to show you, I've just seen I've still got some stuff on my bed that I need to put away because I was halfway through packing when I was needed, but that's okay. One really big aspect of Sinterklaas is chocolate letters where you get a chocolate in the shape of the letter of your name. So I got one for the two people who are gonna be with me over Christmas and I'm gonna give it to them at Christmas. Even though, again, it's not a Christmas thing, but hey ho. And as children, I always used to think R, for some reason I always used to think R had more chocolate in it than some of the letters of my siblings. So I always felt like I was, I was the lucky one. And what's really cool is that obviously I've not lived in Holland in a very, very long time. And I've not really been there around Sinterklaas in a very, very long time. So I was really used to what we had when we were kids, which was you either had milk, if you were lucky, you maybe had the choice of dark or white, but those were the only kinds of letters you could get. And now there's like 101 different options. There's a hazelnut one, there was a cetal, there was a caramel. There were so many different options. I couldn't quite believe it. I didn't buy one for myself and I kind of feel like I should have, but ah well. But even just buying these for the people I'm going to be working with made me so happy. So I think, I think that's all. And I think I am going to end the vlog here unless I think of something else I want to share with you from Holland. But I think I'm going to start a new vlog from tomorrow onwards. I don't know how much I'm going to film. I don't know what I'm going to be doing because we're not officially open yet tomorrow. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll all find out together. We are open. What I mean is we don't have guests. Well, we do have guests, but they're TUI guests. They work for the TUI legal team. They don't work for, or rather they're not actual paying guests. I don't know. Maybe they are paying. I don't know. But it's, it's a different setup to what we're used to. And I think it's only about 40 or 50 guests compared to the 150 we usually get. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? All I know is I'm going to watch some YouTube. I'm going to eat this thing and I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired. That's all from me. And I will see you. I am counting, by the way, I'm counting down the days to Spotify wrapped because I just want to make that video so badly. Anyway, that's all. Goodbye. I will see you tomorrow or 
whenever it is. Well, tomorrow. At the moment, I'm uploading a video every day because that's just how many videos I have. So I will see you tomorrow with another video. Goodbye. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, that's just reminded me. Sorry. One last thing. I have been feeling very anxious the last few days. I may not come across that way on camera and I've loved, loved, loved being in Holland and with my grandparents. It's been so, so special and I feel like I am two different parts of a person because there is me loving every moment in Holland and also in England with my grandparents, with my family, having a great time, loving the whole atmosphere, everything. And then there's a separate part of me that is just so anxious ridden and uh, just in my head about things and just feel like I'm not good enough and I don't know just not not feeling good and it's weird because on the one hand I'm loving life and on the other hand I'm like ah so I want to share that as well because it's not always as joyous as it seems I don't know but we keep on keeping on and we get through it and we make the most of the good times and the good feelings so that's what I'm going to try and do now with my sugar and my YouTube goodbye